Her French is the best you'd hear in the palace and far beyond. I'm really happy to welcome you. Oui. It's one of the things that makes Rula Ghani different from other Afghan first ladies and Afghans in general. She has a cosmopolitan background. Born in Lebanon, she studied political science in Paris and lived in Washington. And she's a Christian. Hardliners criticized Ashraf Ghani for marrying her. The Quran is very clear about this. Muslims are allowed to marry Christians. When Ashraf Ghani was elected in 2014, he not only encouraged his wife to speak in public, the new president thanked her in his inauguration speech. Rula Ghani's dream is to see all Afghans respect women the same way. I want women to feel good about themselves, to take an active role in society, and for that they need to be respected. That's what I'm asking for, respect. The road for respect is long. In Afghanistan, women face discrimination and violence. The woman carried in this coffin was beaten to death by a crowd who thought she had burned a Quran. Police watched a lynching without moving. I couldn't sleep for days after this. It's unacceptable. When a country is at war for so long, social norms fall apart, society is destroyed, and violence becomes the new norm. Afghanistan has been in war for more than 14 years, and Taliban fighters are still standing and trying to gain new positions. Yet the First Lady is still optimistic. The Taliban are waging a psychological war by attacking in several areas. I think they will eventually lose that war. The First Lady hopes the Taliban's defeat will happen quickly. And for 2016, she has one wish. I want peace in Afghanistan. <laughs> C'est ça, c'est ça que j'aimerais. Okay.